Fuck! Yeah, <laughs> God. I oh, love these bastards. Alright. Last time on the Fallen Return, you all found yourselves at the Greenbrier Collective, trying to find any and all information you could before heading onward to find a way to march your army all the way up to the coast so you can go all the way over to Shar. Uh, however, while at the Greenbrier Collective, you got a rather tired-sounding Fioriel calling you, uh, telling you that she has not only found the portal, but she has found the lost legendary city of Isolina. Uh Immediately wanting to make a beeline over there, you teleported um, with help from the professor to Bal and Daryl, where the professor is from. Uh, the professor, not wanting to deal with family, quickly ushered you to the edge of the city where he was going to buy all the horses. Every single horse, including that one. Yes, especially that one. The little Welsh pony. Mm -hmm. um, when you all heard a rather jubilant voice from behind that was familiar to Talmar. Something, a voice he has not heard in ages. And that is where we start off with Talmar, you turning around to see a halfling bounding up to you, just joy on her face. And you know this as your friend, your cleric, Ari. Ari, what are you doing here? Oh my god, Tally, look at you, you're so tall. Hi. Hi. I can help. I, 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 can I finish casting? Because I was actually in the middle of casting. Uh, <laughs> no, you, 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 you get you're you're kind of casting while you're like, oh hey, and you manage to finish just as you finish the oh hey as, poof, Bucky shows up. I pull out a carrot. I'm just like, hi Bucky. Are those the standard issue barmit things? Because everyone has had them. What horses? <laughs> The carrots. Oh no! I got them. Whole, you got I've them. Got, I've got mushrooms. Oh. Well, I mean, I bought I... like entire like crate, two crates, worth, and Bucky's already eaten like half of it. So that's just how Bucky rolls. Yeah. Bucky immediately goes over to Ari and just goes down starts eating the carrots straight out of her hand just being extremely affectionate he's the best i have mushrooms in my bag if you want mushrooms and also i've got pickles and then she just starts ruffling through and it's just like food food more food it's food <laughs> jerky everything well, this hasn't changed since i saw you last i'm a growing girl i gotta eat a lot I'm like a whole free foot now. All right, as, just, as we sit here and discuss who the fuck's the tiny little person screaming at us in the middle of a fucking street? <laughs> oh, um, everybody, this is Ari. She is a cleric of, of Bahamut. She's from my monastery. I'm still not really sure what she's doing. Oh, right joy. Now. Yes, Connor, more of us. Yes, that makes three of you. More holy three. people. Who's, who's, who's... This, I've got a Bahamut buddy. More Bahamut buddies. You're very tall. He's a giant. Is, is your name Connor? Nice to meet you. Mm. I'm Ari. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he doesn't talk a whole lot. Uh, I'm Iron Deer. He's the taciturn one. Hi. Hello there, tiny one. My name's Corin Gladstone. Corin Gladstone. So you're Cory. He's Iron Deary. You can be Connie. And that's Kelly, and that's Tally, and that's there's another lady, and she's very quiet, and also a very tall gentleman who's also very quiet. Hi. 
and does not. So Kelly, okay. So this is the one and only time I'm ever going to say this. Okay. It's my lord or it's nothing. <laughs> my lord. E. 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 <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm really sorry. Your brow is very yeah, furrowing. Yeah, I just call him your grace a lot. Uh, <laughs> about it. What's your title? Because you wouldn't be... Are you a king? Because you wouldn't be a lord, then you'd be his royal highness. Yes, and that's something I do not wish to broadcast as we travel abroad at the moment. Hmm, then your grace oh or your majesty, not your lord. Or I could call you Connie. Or we can just stop arguing semantics and get out of this city <laughs> that the professor asked us to leave very quickly. Because to okay. quote our solid friend, we don't have time. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. Uh, we, we quite not have time. Hello, little one. I am the professor. It is very nice to meet you. And here is that this is Mirai. Mirai, say hello. Hello! <laughs> As this little fairy dragon head pops out of the bag, there's a little bit of bacon crumbles on her jaw. She's like, Hi! I was totally not eating bacon! Not in the past, because you told me not to! How? <sighs> That's Rayelli. Hello. Hi! Sorry, yes! I'm distracted by, by, That's... by something for a moment. I'm just gonna offer my hands to Mariah and just be like, come here, little one, in Draconic. <gasps> new friend! <gasps> new friend! And she's like, <laughs> she just sort of flies over and curls on you. Mariah, now, just. And then the professor stops dead as his eyes go a little bit wide. And you all turn to see what he sees, and there's this tall, regal looking elf just marching up to you guys. And the professor goes, just a moment. You see him, you know, Professor Walk over there. And the two are exchanging words in Elvish, rather terse words. Um, Jalar is a name that you get. And eventually the professor's face goes dark. And he just bristles up, throws his shoulders back, and then nods before walking to you all. He goes, I am afraid that... Uh, my plan of not getting involved in my family's politics has not worked. You all go ahead. I will catch up to you as soon as possible. Uh, Mariah, go with them. I'd make it easier. Uh, decisions are hard. Uh, I'm getting headed right now. I'm just getting belly scratches right now. <laughs> and see how it goes. Um, the professor sighs and nods to you all. I shouldn't be too long, but please be safe. There's simply not enough time for this. Bye, <laughs> professor. Bye. Have a wonderful <laughs> time. Uh, try not to get embroiled in more politics than we need to be in. <laughs> And so he rejoins the other elf and they start walking back, leaving you with a bunch of horses and a harried looking man going, D -d -d Did you want them or not? Well, uh, is it all the horses? Every horse in the stable? E yes, it was paid for. Do you want them all or not? Because well, I can yes, say I, I want yes. Here. Yes, no, no, what I want you to do is I want horses for every one of us. Then I want you to let loose all the other horses throughout town, random corners, and let them run wild. What? I, 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 we paid for these horses, and this is what I want. I do, oh, but oh, God. he's a people king, could damn it! Hair. People could get hair, they could get trampled, and things like that, and then they could kill the horses, and that wouldn't be nice. They're, they're trained horses. I think they're just gonna stand there and be a nuisance, uh, and maybe shit on the road. The horses, yes. That pony, and he points to the Welsh pony. That's a naughty pony. <laughs> it has gotten into a lot of trouble. Either you take it, but I, I, I fear letting it loose out in the city. Do you want the troubled pony there, miss? Okay, so we have the troubled pony. We also have a pony <laughs> loves to eat. Lovely, lovely pony. It is pearl white. I want that pony. Okay, so we have the two ponies. It's like, I'll, I'll have my stable boys take the horses to the four corners of the city. Um, 
and we'll let them loose? And the answer is, Connor, yes, as always. All right, cool. I don't need a horse. <laughs> Mischief. Uh, Blue. She is um, a sort of bay color. If I remember right. Meta, my friend Deanna, her first horse she had was a pony named Mischief. And if you left her alone for too long, she got into shit. <laughs> yes, she's she's just she's a naughty pony, is what I'm saying. The other one, nice bright one. She's you. Know, I used to put a unicorn horn on her for when my daughter would ride her around. It's almost like a unicorn. Well, that's the plan, because I have uh, the wolf. So there's one a horse for each one of us, and then... I always forget you have a fucking wolf pet thing. Well, yes. it's not a pet, but whatever. Uh, I don't need an extra horse. I think Bucky can make it. Uh, Bucky can do anything. Bucky's amazing. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's smart, and he's going to be in charge of the horses, so it'll be like an army of horses now. You should let him know. If you had a deck of grain, it would be lovely. Uh, you all get set up with horses that you want. Um, and then the horses kind of all give Mischief a side eye, and they give Bucky a side eye, and Bucky goes, oh, I'm in charge of the horses, right. And then he starts, I'm going to assert dominance, but he's a horse. And then he remembers Bucky. I pat Bucky on the head. If you want. You're not my supervisor. <laughs> Is there an empty glue bottle? <laughs> Wait, that's not that horse isn't horse is glue, really? Fine, all right, let's go. My God. Fine, I guess. <laughs> so, you all, <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> you all settle <laughs> up. God damn it. We're not even like ten minutes into this. This shit's already started. You guys saddle the fuck up. <laughs> you mean the professor behind as you leave Val and Daryl, the beautiful port city, heading towards the southeast to where you will find a cavern that will take you to where Ilalina is and hopefully to where Fioriel still is. And thus we go out on the road. I have way too much music in here that I'm not actually going to use. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, I also introduced Gwen to Ari. I forgot. I have a I have a falcon. <laughs> that, that is that. so pretty. No person. Dad, it's a new person. It is. She's with us. I, I offered bits of jerky, like, I'm a, um, and some from right, and some for you, and some from right, and some for you. You can go on the other shoulder. The <laughs> so here's Ari on the pure white pearlescent pony with a hawk and a slowly getting fat fairy dragon. Is that spoiling? It's, are they are they not flying you? They should be flying you. 
I like my pouch. It's where all my bacon is. I miss my heart. <laughs> I know, but I have baubles and bits of scrap of paper. What kind of my... what kind of trinkets? I've got, and then she just do you like smoking baubles? Because I've got a smoking bubble. You can have it. <gasps> No, 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 it's okay. I have a, I take little bits and pieces of cast off the professor uses when he's enchanting stuff, and I fart at the bottom of the bag. He has no idea I made a new pocket! <laughs> oh, fuck. He's gonna find it, isn't he? Oh. Mm, no. Make a little, a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that is not magical. Magical hordes are the best kind of hordes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is a lovely travel montage we're having. <laughs> montage. Oh. You guys settle into uh, a steady pace. You learn eventually that Ari is here because Fioriel sent for her as aid. Mm -hmm. Fioriel's really nice. I like her. Yes, she is. Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to help. We'll be in time. We had better be in time. Mister. We're gonna be in time. I can't do really angry, I'm sorry. Can we, can we go quicker? So, as you guys are going, eventually you have to cut off the main road. Thankfully, it only takes you about a day of travel before you have to cut off the road, but you enter forest, and unlike the ancient grove, which was huge and primal, this is more of an old-growth forest. Um, Rael, this is looking a little bit familiar. It reminds you of the forest around your home. Yeah. While not the same, you, you notice the same trees, same patterns. You know where the past crowd, um, Aaron Deer, you walk in, you're like, oh, yeah, no, okay. I know what you're about. Fuck oh, cool. I see you, Forrest. Hey, boo. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, who is going to be leading? Because you do not have a map. So the ranger should be leading. I'll be following the ranger. Go, Aaron Deer, go! Yeah, this hey. is Aaron Deer's party here. It's like a... Under no circumstances will Talmor be looking at any in charge of any maps. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I head in, or I try to head us in whatever general direction towards the mountains through the forest. Oh, survivor for me, Evan B. Evan. Sure. Does uh, he get an advantage because of forest? Because we're in a forest? You. Uh, do I, even with the new thing? I mean, I'm not going to say no, I guess, but... I'm giving you advantage anyway, because, you know, you're handsome. Now, the first time what? I heard that... I think we give you advantage for being handsome. Um, I'm it's a generous way. DM. I'm an evil DM. Difference. That uh, is a modified 20. Um, as you, you quickly get paths, mostly hunter paths, different from the game that walks through here, and keeping an eye on the mountain and roughly where you were told the cave would be, you managed to keep a fair amount of track. You were about half a day into this off-path traveling when Aaron Deer, you noticed something unusual. You are scouting out a little bit ahead to get a, a feel for the road when you see a wolf print but it's not like any wolf print you've seen before most wolves are they can get fairly big this one is huge 
looking at the paw print, it seems to be almost a foot. Okay. As in 12 inches. Like the size of a bear paw? <laughs> a bit bigger. Bear paw. A bit... Her. It is a giant wolf print. The claw. Wait, so like how much bigger of a paw print is it from Connor's wolf? Because Connor has a big wolf, right? Yeah. Connor, you looking at this, you get the feeling that the wolf is about, I would consider, getting close to medium in size. It's bigger than Connor's wolf. Ooh. By a lot. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would like stay where that where, where I found that and wait for everyone to catch up so I can point it out to everybody. Um, can I see if there's any more? Is it like a trail or anything? Or is it... um, make another survival check. Um. Uh, 24. You look around and you can catch bits and pieces of what seemed to be a, uh, it walking, single tracking. And then it disappears. And then 30 feet ahead, you can see it start back up again. And it, and then it disappears. And then you can't find any more. But it's a giant wolf, and as you're inspecting it, you see um, what looks to be, in a tree, claw marks. Deep claw marks. Okay. Um, roll investigation for me. Uh, ugh, not good. Uh, 11. You can see there's some other damage to the tree as well, but you're unsure of what caused it. Okay. Um, I'll say to you, I think we have we established that uh, the wolf friend we have can understand common. I feel like we'd have, right? Yeah, yeah. That's like I think it's, his intelligence was up there to be like, yeah. <laughs> he like just flicks his ears, like, really? Are we going over this again? <laughs> okay. I just I I understand you perfectly. Um. Perhaps if you could pick up the scent and keep your nose out and alert us if it comes if you notice it near us again. He or looks up at you, Connor. Sound plan. He's one of the smart <sighs> ones. At least it's not. At least the cleric's not telling you to do something. Why would I tell him to do something? Not you. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, other, the other cleric. Could I have heard of anything like this being from... I don't know why you guys were talking about Ryan like that. That's not cool. I don't know. <laughs> As I say, man, we do have several fucking clerics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, roll. We get around. There's, this is this is a holy like party, it. almost. I'm waiting for everybody to take a level in something holy. Um, Honor ain't gonna do that. Being that we're in Eleonora and Bard, who reads everything she can get her hands on, would I have heard of anything like this? Uh, roll history for me. Okay. Yay, something I'm proficient in because sage background. Oh, shit, nope. Hey, 21. Uh, you've not heard of anything like this before. Shit. Um... As your wolf goes and sniffs and goes hiff hiff, hiff hiff, hiff hiff, ticky ticky, wait, that's a hamster. Um, hiff hiff. It gets caught of something and you immediately watch it rear back and just start backpedaling as fast as it can. That's not cool. <laughs> starts making the rolfing noises and just immediately pads back to you and looks at you like, I trusted you. <laughs> I'm a so little clearly not a nat clearly not natural at this point then if she's acting really reacting this way. If the king <gasps> of the forest is afraid of it. <laughs> well, then, do 
you smell any, uh, smell? Do you, do you know if there are any fiends in the area, Aaron Dare? Oh, sure. Uh, good call. Uh, yeah, so if we're gonna take a minute. I'll do that. I also pick up beasts. Beasts and fiends. Primeval awareness. So, uh... Beast or I was fiend? a fiend all along, haha. Yeah. Uh, you uh -huh. Uh -huh. concentrate and you send your consciousness out to the forest over fallen stumps and brush. And you feel nothing. Not even beasts. That is a little confusing.